into the night club, if one knows how to find it, which just so happens, <laughs> I do. How do you know all that? I read about it in a, a very old book. You know all that from staring at marks on paper. Yes. You're like a wizard. Exactly. Samuel Tarley is a wizard. Okay, now this is a continuation of my thoughts on Game of Thrones, and I like to throw a wrench in everybody else's thoughts. But there are people who know that Samwell is a wizard. However, let's look at why Samwell is a wizard. Okay, so first, let's get an understanding of what I believe. I don't believe that there's a drowned god. I don't believe that there's a god of fire. I don't believe that there's a, you know, I believe that Naga once existed, though. I do believe that. But I don't believe all these gods and, you know, the god of death and all this. I believe it's all one. And that god is nature. So, with that being said, I believe nature is the one that is causing all of these events and creating all of these anomalies within humans and beings, uh, other species. Now, being that uh, if the Night King, uh, not... I don't think if he had his way, but the way he is depicted, him and his army of the dead, you know, if if the Night King was to run rampant, he would kill every and anyone except babies because he likes to transfer babies into his uh, living dead night walkers uh, or white walkers. You know, they're not exactly dead. They just turn blue and they, you know, he's given them their powers. Uh, he, does, he doesn't kill those babies. Children, yes. Babies, no. So, uh, it, it, so if you had that, there would be nothing else for him to do because he'd just slaughter everyone. So then you have characters like Zora High and his wife who are supposed to come along and, you know, pretty much balance out that. Well, then you have lower tier individuals with abilities to kind of help that push along. So you have the Starks. They All of the Starks have the ability to ward. I say had because a lot of them are gone now. But none of them, it's said that they all have the ability to ward. You know, you have <clears throat> uh, other families that are not so popular. Still, there's a ward that pops up in once in one person and family. Why is that? Because nature needed a ward in either that clan that family and or that area. Uh, so when you're looking at uh, the wildlings, they had a ward. Uh, I forgot what his name was, but nonetheless, uh, there was a ward there. So uh, so wards can pop up anywhere. Let's look at the Iron Islands. You know, right now, the king of the Iron Island, he's not a ward. He is able to, he's a warlock. Why would nature make a warlock? Why was he able to be strapped to the mass of his ship and call down the rain, call down the thunder? Okay, that's for another time. Then, of course, you and you notice that it's not a line of wards. It's not a line of warlocks. It's not a line of uh, Baratheons uh, that can do certain things other than their strength. Baratheons are known to be strong. But... Uh, uh, the only thing that there's really a line of is kings. There's a line of kings. But that's something that man made up. That's not nature. So uh, you have people or beings that have special abilities. And Samuel is one of those people. So now, were there other wizards in Westeros? Yes. Are there other wizards, uh, wizards uh, during his time? Yes. One other, other, excuse me, I can't even talk. One other wizard is the guy who does the blessings uh, for the Iron Island people. He is a wizard. Uh, he's, you know, like a priest, but he's some type of wizard, you know, priest. You know, they kind of go along the same thing. Of course, you have Melisandre. And, uh, you know, of course, you have... Um, 
of course, you have uh, who's the other priest? The one that uh, the one that just died, Thoris of Mir. He was a priest. So priests and wizards kind of remind me of the same thing. But Samwell is a wizard. When she said, you learned all that from staring at marks uh, uh, on a piece of paper, you know. Uh, now, Gilly is a wildling, so she's she has a primitive way of saying things. Of course, she means by reading. But nonetheless... The fact that she said staring at marks makes me think Samuel could probably read things that other people can't read. It's not wildlings who are illiterate. It's the simple fact that even the most educated people might not be able to interpret something the way Samuel can. This is Samuel's magic doing this. This is his innate ability to understand things that other people, even well-learned people, including kings, cannot understand. How do I know this? Because Samuel was able to read and understand one of the maester's books on grayscale. And that maester in particular died of grayscale. The, you know, so Samuel read the book and he healed Sir Jorah Mormon, correct? And the Lord Maester said, how did you do it? He said, I just read the book. See, now, if you take the Maester who actually wrote the book, it's a good chance that the Maester didn't write the book all in one setting. What he did was he wrote the book by his mistakes. And this is why he died from grayscale. Because he learned from his mistakes, but nonetheless, it was too late and no one else was allowed to practice what he did. Therefore, it's he signed his own fate. Once they saw that he was dying from it, everybody else was afraid to try it because they thought he was the authority on grayscale and no one else was able to do it. Well, they were somewhat right. There needed to be someone with the special cognitive ability to understand what that maester said and what he wrote all the way up until his dying day. You notice what they do with people in grayscale. They don't always send them away. So Jorah Mormon was locked in a room. He was, you know, they had him stay there. Do you think that the maester that died of grayscale was sent away to live with the stone men? No. He probably stayed in that room and he found a way to finish his work. And he died of it. And Samuel was able to interpret all of what he said. For one, nobody else wanted to read the book. Because what? They were afraid of getting infected. Two, even if they did read the book, they were afraid to try it. Why? Because they would get infected. Samuel being young and inexperienced and also thirsting for knowledge was like, I didn't know that this guy died of grayscale, but now that I know, I don't care. So Jorah Mormon's father, Jorah, saved my life. I'm going in. And he did it. But he didn't do it just by his own cognitive ability. He did it by the blessing of nature. Nature needs someone who can cure grayscale. Samuel is that someone, okay? So I just wanted to bring up the fact that not only is Samuel a wizard, but Samuel is probably going to be the wizard. There are other wizards and people with magical properties walking around, but Samuel's cognitive ability is far and above pretty much anybody else in Westeros. He's not a brute. He doesn't have to fight even though he's already killed a White Walker. The reason why he doesn't have to fight is because it's just like when you play a video game in MMO, you have a bunch of people who all have different properties. One of them is the strong person. The other one is the ranger. The other one is the super fast person. The other one person is a, some type of spell caster. Samwell is a spell caster. Okay, that's what he is. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they get 
not only to the crux of what he can do, but I'm hoping to see his power come to full-blown fruition, like of all the things he can do, because it's a good chance that Samuel is going to carry a book. He's going to open that book, and he's going to say some words that are just going to make people die. And that's all that's going to be to it. This is your boy Tone202. Just some Game of Thrones theory thrown at you one more again. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to check out my book on Lulu.com. It's called The Sorrowed King. I wrote it myself. And check out my music. Just go ahead and Google Tone202. And you will see my album called Just Right There. Check it out on CD Baby. And I think that's it. Peace.